uh, in the middle of the night, the thought came to me, you know, Conway's theory about numbers would be a great thing to teach students how to invent research and what the joys are of research. Mm -hmm. And and I, and so I said, and I had also re read a book in dialogue by by Alfred Rennie, uh, where he, it was kind of a Socratic thing where the two characters were talking to each other about mathematics. And so I, and so at the end in the morning, I, I woke up my wife and said, Jill, I think I want to write a book about Conway's theory. And, um, you know, you know, I'm supposed to be writing the art of computer programming, yeah. doing all this other stuff, but I got, but I really want to write this other book. And so we made this plan. But I said, I thought I could write it in a week. <laughs> and we made the plan then. So in January, I rented a room in a hotel in downtown Oslo. We were in sabbatical in Norway. Uh, and I rented the hotel in, in downtown Oslo. And, um, did nothing else except write uh, up Conway's theory, and and I I changed the name to Surreal Numbers. That would, and so this book is now published as Surreal Numbers, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, you know we figured out we'd always wondered what what, what would be like to have an, a fair enough hotel room. So so we figured out that she would visit me twice during the week, and, <laughs> and, 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 and things like this. You know we would you know uh -huh. we, we try to sneak in. This was hotel was was run by a mission organization. These ladies were probably very strict, but anyway, so, so, yeah. so, so uh, and, and it's a wild that, week <laughs> in every way. But the thing is, I had lost that, I had lost that napkin in which he wrote mm -hmm. the theory, but, but I, 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 I looked for it, but I couldn't find it. So, so I, so, so I tried to recreate from memory what he had told me at that lunch in, uh, in Calgary. And, and as I as I wrote the book, I I was going through exactly what I what the characters in the book were supposed to be doing. So so I start with the with, with the two axioms that start out the whole thing, and, mm -hmm. and everything is defined flows from that. But you have to discover why. And and as I, every mistake that I make as I'm trying to do, discover it, I, I my characters make too. And, you know, and 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 so it was. It, it's a long long story. And I, but but I worked through this week. Uh, 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 and and it, and it was it, it was one of the most ex uh, intense weeks of my life, and and, and I, I, uh, I I described it in other places, but 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 anyway, uh, after six days, I I finished it, and on the seventh day, I rested, and and I sent to, I, to my secretary to type it. it. It was flowing as I was writing it uh, faster than I could think, almost. Uh, uh, but 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 after I finished and, uh, and tried to write a letter to my secretary telling her how to type it, I couldn't write anymore. Uh, <laughs> she it, gave it everything. The, the muse had left me completely. Uh, Can you explain it, it, how it, that week could have happened? Like why is that? Seems like such a magical week of productivity. I have no idea. But anyway, there was some. There it it, it was almost as if I was channeling. <laughs> so 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 the book it was typed. I sent it to Conway. And and he said, "Well, Don, you got the axiom, the one axiom wrong. It, it, uh, it, it, there is a difference between um, less than or equal and not greater than. I don't know. I, I mean, the, the opposite of being greater than, yeah, it, it, and, and less than or equal. But anyway, the, it, technically, it can make a difference when you're developing a, a logical theory. Mm -hmm. And the way I had chosen was harder to, to do than John's original." So, wow. um, and we visited him at, at his house in Cambridge uh, in April. We took a boat actually from Norway o over to uh, across the channel and and so on, and stayed with him for some days. And and uh, oh, he told he talked. We talked about all kinds of uh, of of things. He has he, he had puzzles that I'd never heard of before. He had a great way to. To solve the game of solitaire, many of the common interests that we, you know, he had never written them up. And we, but but anyway, uh, then in the summertime, I took another week off and went to a, a place in 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 uh, the mountains of Norway and and rewrote the book mm -hmm. using the correct axiom. <laughs> 
and so so that was the most intensive connection with 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 Conway. Uh, after that, uh, it started with a napkin. It started with a napkin, and, but but we, but we would r run into each other all. Oh well, yeah, the, the the next really important. I was giving lectures in Montreal. Uh, I, I, I was giving a series of. Um, of of seven lectures about a topic called stable marriages, and 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 he arrived in Montreal uh, uh, between my sixth and seventh lecture, and and we met at a party, and uh, I I started telling him about the topic I was doing, and uh, he sat and thought about it. And he he came up with a beautiful theory to to, to show that the uh, I mean in technical terms it's it's that the that the set of all stable marriages it forms a lattice, mm -hmm. and and there was a simple way to find the greatest lower bound and of, of, of two stable <laughs> pairings and and least upper bound of two stable married, and so I could use it in my lecture the next day. And he came up with this theorem, you know, during the party. <laughs> uh, and it, it, uh, it, it it's and a brilliant. It, yeah. It's a distributive lattice. I mean, it's it, it, it's uh, you know. Uh, it, it it added greatly to the theory of uh, of stable matching. 